What's up guys, this is Safe and today we're having a very cool tutorial about the uh, a transition, it's the motion tile transition but it's gonna be advanced in Baker's fucking vicious video um, when he did this I know you already saw it in the beginning of the video but take a look again um, it's this part so he has some movement and some velocity speed going and agility fade and the new clip start. I did exactly like it, maybe 90%, 85%. So yeah, this will be the advanced motion tile. So let's get started by um, deleting this, the adjustment layer. And what I have, I have uh, two clips and I did an opacity fade from 100 to 0 in half a second. Now what we need to do is, we're gonna search the part where we wanna start the transition in. I already marked it. So I'm gonna start it here, set this to quarter. And we're gonna create a new adjustment layer and we're gonna search up motion tile. Drag on that to our adjustment layer. And now what you're gonna do is we're gonna all click on the height and we're gonna uh, parent it to the width. So if we move the width, the height moves with this. So yeah, we're gonna set a keyframe here and we're gonna set a keyframe at the end. So keyframe here. Um, to 100 also. And in the middle, we can set a keyframe to 34. Or maybe 35. Yeah, that's the value I use, I think. And we can mess around with this. Now, what you need to do is we're gonna go to the. We're gonna click on the width and we're gonna go to the graph editor. We're gonna easy ease the middle one. And we're gonna easy ease out this one. And now you can play with the handles and stuff like bigger did. So yeah, all the I know this bar bigger did it, but maybe someone doesn't know it, so I'm just doing it again. So please don't tell me I copied the tutorial. Anyways, if you're comfortable with the graph. Now what you need to do is, we're gonna add some optics compensation. I know deja vu from Baker, but just follow. And now we're gonna set a keyframe to zero here. And a keyframe here maybe, after the video ends. To zero also. And now we're gonna set a a keyframe here to 80 and we're gonna reverse the lens distortion maybe 70 70 is good now you can also mess around with the handles and stuff okay. just move this and stuff so you you feel better with it and now for the tricky part we see here we have some Easy motion tile, but no, it's not easy. Now we're gonna do the movement part and stuff. So we're gonna go to the adjustment layer, and we're gonna go to the motion tile, and we're gonna search up for phase. We're gonna set this to horizontal, cause if you set it, don't click horizontal. It's gonna be like this. You can do it like this, but it's better to do it with horizontal, so it's like this. And we're gonna start it here. So we're gonna set a keyframe at zero, and in the end, we're gonna set a move maybe two frames. And we're gonna set a keyframe at we're gonna move it four times. Maybe five if you want, but four is better. You to see the keyframes and easy ease. Come on. F9 with the easy ease shortcut. 
and my computer sucks. That's why I'm getting my Mac. Anyways, now what we see here, we got some transition, some twisted going. If you take a look here, let me see we have some twisted go. Now we need to do the movement part upward. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start this here maybe. When this when the phase starts, we're gonna set a keyframe here. And exactly in the end point maybe after it, we're gonna set a keyframe to maybe I used 1802 I think. And now as usual easy ease. Easy ease these keyframes. F9. And yeah. I think we're done here. If we take a quick look, quick preview. Um, we got the motion tile, the baker did it. We got some optics with some movement. It's moving upwards. And I know we have, yeah, moving, 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 and a new clip comes in what the hell yeah and a new clip comes in thanks for watching guys I know this tutorial is fast now you can mess around with the keyframes um, by clicking on all of them and clicking alt and um, no sorry clicking control I think and drag what the hell I don't remember how I did it ah I think I click shift and drag or something. Anyways, you can mess around with the keyframes. I don't remember. But I think let's take let's know how now with each other. Um yeah. Clicking and hold on the last keyframe and shift. Yeah. This makes it faster or slower. Or control. Ah, uh, forget it. Let's take a last try. Anyways, you can mess around with the keyframes. Forget everything I said. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's exactly the way Baker did it. I hope. Now, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you liked this fast tutorial and if you need anything tell me and when I get my Mac I might post uh, I make this I'm, um, I don't know how to say it maybe me and M as the Steve we're gonna do a transition pack for you guys so thanks for watching and very I want to thank M as the Steve for giving me this tutorial idea and I hope you liked it if you did please give a like and comment if I reach 20 likes I'm gonna put the next tutorial just supposed to comment on what should I do yeah thanks guys freaking out